Good morning. It's great to have all of you here today as we as we celebrate the uh, get ready to recognize the winners of the clean community competition. Uh, but first, a couple of years ago, the mayor asked us to come up with ways to engage our communities in cleaning up Baltimore. Uh, this contest is one of those ways we have used to get the uh, neighborhoods involved in removing trash, increased recycling, uh, cleaning up lots, and keeping our streets and alleys clean. Uh, we pick up trash from the streets and alleys all day, but, we, what, but what we need is for people not to put it there in the first place. Not just the big stuff either. Candy wrappers, cigarettes, food containers, and other litter may not seem like much by themselves. But when they, uh, uh, when they have time to go down to our streams and in our harbor, they become a, a big problem. And I spent a couple of uh, uh, hours on one of our skimmers out there in the inner harbor, and you will be amazed at the number of uh, potato chip wrappers and uh, plastic bags that you find floating around in the inner harbor. Uh, this, uh, what we need also, is people to care. These communities we are recognizing today care. And that's why we are here to honor them. They, can, uh, they cannot and we cannot do this work without the support of our elected leaders who share our goals in keeping Baltimore clean. Now it is my honor to introduce one of these leaders who is the catalyst for this competition, the mayor of Baltimore, my mayor, Honorable Stephanie Rollins Blake. Thank you very much, Director Fox. I can't tell you how proud I am. And I, I know I tell you all the time, and I, I, I mean it. I'm so proud to have you on my team. You know, the, uh, Director Fox gets it. He knows that in order for Baltimore to be a clean city, everybody has to be engaged. And, and we talked about ways that, that we could get there. We talked, we have a song out, we have a commercial. He said he was gonna come up with a clean community dance. <laughs> We're going to unveil that next year. That's for next year's co competition. But so again, I'm very proud. It's one thing to to um, you know to set out a path to know that you know we need to find new and innovative ways to engage the, our uh, our citizens. And there's another thing to be able to get it done. And Director Fox gets it done. And I'm really glad uh, to have him on my my team as well as the whole DPW family. It's a it is a great team. Uh, that does a lot of good work. So last year, Baltimore City held its first ever Clean Communities competition, and it was a big success. Residents from Baltimore City community swept the streets, the sidewalks, planted flowers, trees, removed bulk trash from alleys and lots. And we did it again this year. And today, we're going to reward six communities for their hard work that they did over the summer to make their neighborhoods clean and green. These communities were judged on cleaning and recycling efforts that included increased recycling, cleaning, uh, clearing trash from vacant lots, streets, and alleys, and painting storm drains with do not dump here messages. I want to thank again Director Fox and Valentina Yukoma, the Bureau Head for Solid Waste, for their efforts in putting this together. We know that Val is relentless when it comes to keeping our city clean, and she's just a great asset to the team. And I also want to thank the judges who volunteered. I know that uh, we have some judges that weren't able to be here. Katie Schroger, Schroeder from Live Baltimore, uh, Jonalyn Den Denlinger uh, from Baltimore Community Foundation and Lynn Heller from the Able Foundation could not be here, but Lauren Poor from Blue Water Baltimore, where's Lauren? Thank you very much for being a judge. And Valerie Rupp from Parks and People Foundation, where's Valerie? Yay, thank you. 
Thank you for your work. Most importantly, I want to express my gratitude to Mr. Mike Levy and the American Chemistry Council for their generous sponsorship and their prize money. Could not do it without you. Through their efforts, we will award $5,000 to the first place winners and $1,000 to the second place winners. The money will go a long way toward helping the uh, communities keep clean and do events. You know, the, our community associations do, they are, they are a, a lesson in frugality. You know, they can do so much with so little. And you give a community association, you know, $1,000 or $5,000, they're able to do great things uh, and use that to uh, really pull our community together. So I want to again uh, thank the sponsor for making this happen and invite Mr. Levy to come up and give some remarks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor and Director Fox and the DPW staff. Um, council members, uh, the judges that I met, and of course all of you that are here today. Uh, on behalf of our group, which is the American Chemistry Council, and in particularly the Plastics Food Service Group that uh, uh, our companies make a lot of the products that are used uh, in restaurants and, and grocers, they're convenience products. Uh, we know unfortunately that they are often littered and, and it's, it's our responsibility to uh, uh, help communities like yourselves uh, to uh, do the kind of programs that this one is here. Uh, we're really grateful to be a sponsor this year. Uh, and like I said, as an industry, we encourage litter prevention and innovative recycling. Um, but I have to tell you that there isn't any better place that I wanted to be than here today in the city of Baltimore to basically see what the hard work in the neighborhood efforts that you did on a daily basis. And our experience is that's key, it's on a daily basis, is that uh, if you can get in front of all this, it, it's really important. Um, this particular competition, as the mayor said, uh, challenges the communities to come up with different programs to reduce litter, uh, increase recycling, take care of trash, abandoned lots, and it's really your leadership that's gonna make a difference. So today, we're recognizing what you've done on a neighborhood to neighborhood basis, and again, I, I think that's really critical that what is going to ultimately make a difference uh, to keep uh, Chesapeake Bay and Baltimore Harbor clean and, and free from a lot of this. So again, we join the mayor and the city in recognizing and congratulating this year's winners. And in the spirit of this kind of competition, we hope that this, in its second year, will spur others uh, to continue to do this and to, to keep, keep, keep uh, all the trash from being generated. So again, thanks for the opportunity to uh, sponsor this this year. Thank you very much, Mike. Again, I want to congratulate all of the communities who participated and, and thank uh, and congratulate the winners. When I talked to Director Fox about this uh, idea, this concept of a clean community campaign, we talked about the campaigns of Baltimore in the past and how they were it's so authentic and organic, meaning that it was really the people, it didn't matter if you were young or old, everybody knew trash ball. Everybody was, felt like they were in on it. And I said, in order for us to try to replicate that type of feeling, it has to come from the communities themselves. We have to find a way to create an incentive for communities to chart their own path. Because there's not, we know Baltimore, we don't have a one size fits all model. Everybody, whatever neighborhood it is, you gotta do it your own way. And we have to create the incentives, but also the opportunity, the platform for communities all over to do it their own way and to make their neighborhoods beautiful. And I think that is what we have done and, I'm, and could not have done it. We could not have done it without the community stepping up. So I want to ask um, Ms. Ukoma, Mr. Levy, and Director Fox to come on up here. And are we, are we we're gonna do the awards. Are we doing the award picture, award picture? Or are we doing? Award picture, award picture. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with the, the uh, district of my birth, well, not really my birth, where I grew up. I, I was, never mind. I grew up in Northwest, Let's, I'll just say that. So I am starting with the Northwest uh, community. The first place winner is the 3200 block of Carlisle Association. The 3200 block 
gave residents recycling bins, adopted a lot, and painted storm drains. And for that, I thank you. Let's come over and take our photo. In front of the podium, please. Gentlemen, please take off the visitor's passes. All community organizations, please take off your visitor's passes if you're going to be taking a photo. Thank you. All righty, our second place winner for North, uh, Northwest is the Greater Remington Association. And I heard that they were not here today. They, last year they won first place and had a Rock Remington event where 400 recycling bins were given out to Remington residents. So I want to give Remington a big hand. All right. Moving to the Southwest communities. The first place winner is, and let me say what they did first. They gave out recycling bins, planted trees, and what I really like is they found innovative ways to get our kids involved in the cleaning, clean up effort. So our first place winner for South, uh, Southwest is South Baltimore Partnership. Congrats. All right. Our second place winner won first place last year, and they have cleaned Gwen's Falls, conducted neighborhood trash suites, and reached out to educate residents, which is essential in this effort. Our second place winner is Gwen's Falls Business and Homeowners Association. Southeast. In Southeast, our first place winner adopted vacant lots, cut down weeds and um, bushes, and clean streets and alleys. Our first place uh, winner for Southeast is Rebuild Johnston Square. place winner was first place last year. They took last year's winnings and bought lawnmowers, brooms, rakes, and shovels, and hedge clippers. They planted trees and helped to increase recycling. Our second place winner is the new Greenmont West Community Association. Is that you working on our clean communities dance, Val? 
She has some moves. All right, so absent from the winners is Northeast. We'll have to make sure we get some Northeast participation uh, next year. So on one final note uh, about the cleaning Baltimore, every week we need people to continue to pitch in to keep Baltimore clean. And if you look around, there are lots of new uh, organizations and community efforts that are, are solely geared towards encouraging people to clean, uh, to pick up litter. And we need to, to capitalize on that momentum. Next, and, and also, I want to announce that on next Saturday, October the 26th, we will hold our annual fall cleanup. Your community can register for the cleanup by calling 311 and find out if you're already registered or how to register. I hope everybody comes out all over the city to participate. Did I forget something? I want to kind of get the account information so I can make sure you get your checks. <laughs> That's the important part. All right, again, I want to thank our sponsor. I want to thank all of our neighborhoods that came out to participate and the winners. And if I could get all the winners to come forward for a group photo. Thank you.